Hello everyone, and welcome to an episode of Malort Tutorials. For my subscribed viewers, I apologize for the very long delay between videos, but I am back, and today we are going to be covering head bobbing. So, let's begin. So, I just started with a brand new project. Um, this is a brand new first person template, and we're going to be modifying this to, instead of being a first person shooter, to something more in the lines of like a first person exploration type of game or your horror type style game. So let's go in here and edit the first person character. I'm going to be removing the shooting component and modifying the um, what you actually see here, taking away a good chunk of these elements so that we only focus on essentially the camera. And that's about it. Now it's going to have a whole bunch of errors because we've deleted stuff. So we just need to go ahead and remove this type of thing. Um, and this one too. Okay. So now that we have our character adjusted, it's also moving a bit fast. So let's go ahead and adjust the speed while we're at it. going to turn the walk speed down to quite a bit. Something more like 200 and crouch speed 200 and walk speed for crouching to 100. And we're actually going to make a little shift uh, toggle for like running or sprinting um, just to make it a little bit better. So um, type in shift, just like left shift, and when it's pressed we're going to adjust the character movement, the max walk speed, or set, set the max walk speed, something more in the lines of, let's say your 500 instead of 200. So while it's pressed, we want it to 500, and while it's not pressed, let's set it back to our 200. Okay, we test this. We have a nice slow walk. We press shift, and we walk a little bit faster. So we have our sprint function working. Now let's add some head bobbing. Um, so the way there's actually a couple ways to do the head bobbing. Um, but the way that we're going to be doing it here is using the camera shake class. So we're going to create a new blueprint and underneath all classes the, using this drop down here, type in camera shake. And this is basically just a list of um, a list of properties that you edit. There's some in rotation and there's some in translation for X, Y, and Z that is for the frequency of like how much of that shake you want to actually happen and the amplitude of that shake. So we're going to be just adjusting this to make it look kind of nice. And so let's rename it first person run Bob. And let's also create another one. camera shake element over here called uh, FP walk Bob. So let's start with our run. <clears throat> so we're just going to be focusing on the details panel over here and for our, well we want single instance because we're actually going to be controlling this inside of the character blueprint and our oscillation for our duration we want like two, uh, one, and two. Now, these settings that I type in here, you guys can just adjust and make it however you see fit. You can increase certain values to make it a more like drastic walk or run uh, head bobbing, but this is what I found works for me and for the style that I want. So, for our rotation oscillation, we're going to open up all three and adjust this. So, 0.5, 
8.5 and 8.5. 0.2 and 4.75. Okay, um, and we can close that one. Now our location oscillation, we don't want anything necessarily for the x and y axis because that controls like our forward, backwards, and our left and right for our character. But the z in this case we do want because it's kind of like you're nodding your head. So I put 2 and 17 for that one. And um, <clears throat> nothing else down here. So now we're also going to be going to the walk and adjusting values for that. So a lot of it's going to be somewhat the same, maybe just a slight decrease. So. Once again, single instance, uh, 0.2, 1, 2, 0.3, 12, 12, our yaw is 0.3 and 6, and our roll is 0.2 and 3, and our z is uh, 0.6 and 12. And that does it for the camera shake. So now we have these two parts here, but we need to tie it into our first person character. So let's hop back in here. And we're going to make a tick function and our own custom head bob. So custom event head bob. Make this head bob for over here. And now we're actually going to tie all of it together. So uh, we have our tick calling, so this is going to be called every single time. And essentially what we want is we don't want head bobbing when the player is stopped. And we don't want head bobbing when the player is jumping. So we need to um, call for those type of things. So over here uh, we're going to do one if statement. And for, for this one, we just want to say if the, um, if the player is moving. So get velocity, and we need to turn this into a float. So get the length, and we need to say if this is greater, um, if this is greater than zero, <coughs> to pump that in there. And then the second if statement is saying if it can jump. Uh, actually, uh, let's let's make this an and. So, so if this is greater and uh, if can jump, which means if this is on the floor, or if the character is on the floor and the velocity is greater than zero, then trigger our if statement. Um, and that allows us to, um, to check if you're actually moving or if you're not. So if you're false, or if it's false, then, well, don't do anything. But if it's true, we need another if statement to differentiate between if the player is running or walking. So now we want to use the vector length and say if this is, um, let's say if this is less than something that is for sure in our walking. So our walk speed right now is at 200 for, and so if it's less than let's say 300, we know that it's in the walk state and not the sprinting state. So our true would be our walk head bob. So, true, and we're going to be using um, client play camera shake. We have to uncheck this box here. So, client play camera shake. Now, the target that it uses is the player controller, so we need to get the player controller.
that's the target. Our shake is going to be our walking. Our scale is set to 1. Camera local, everything else is okay. Let's copy that over here and instead make that a run. Tie it into our false and make sure that the target is set. And that right there is the head bob. So let's play, make sure that everything's working. So notice that when we're walking forward, we have the camera kind of slightly head bobbing, which is which I think is nice. And when you're sprinting, a more extreme head bob with a higher frequency shows. And you can see that for sprinting and walking, the head bob works with the tick function. So that right there is how you do head bobbing. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.